A Story of Ends And what if, at the very end, after the whole cosmos has become a vast, empty sea of listless photons, the universe hits the rewind button, plays itself in reverse. Exploded stars hold constitutional conferences, decide to reintegrate. Bits of dust gather to themselves, become planets. Galaxies reconstruct as merry-go-rounds. Someone gives a push. They spin. Here on Earth, we go back to the business of rising from the grave. Coffins pull themselves out of the ground. Family members lift them into hearses where they're carried back to funeral parlors and toxic chemicals are pumped out of their bodies. Then they're driven to a hospital where a doctor pronounces them dead and they return to life. Slowly, gentle, uneven, breathing first, then steady like a machine. All of a sudden, your eyes open. You say, you lie. Tears unsoak themselves from your middle-aged daughter's blouse, slither back up her cheeks into her eyes. A frail old man learns to walk again. His memories return. The scattershot of his mind returns to its casing, and he finds that he's full of heartbreaks, full of unfinished things he wished he could have done, full of beautiful, tender moments that bring him tears. Now he's living these again. He and his wife unsign their divorce, decide to seal back up all their disappointments with each other behind reluctant smiles, live in fragile peace. Now they're happy again. What they know of each other steadily declines to the point that they kiss. A rebellious college-age blonde moves into their house, unpierces her nose, becomes a teenager. Her breasts shrivel into her chest, and all of her friends come over to celebrate with birthday cake and a puppy. Now he's young again. His strength again begins to diminish as he unlearns facts, unlearns friends and lovers and the miles he's run and the mountains climbed, unlearns his confidence in himself and all the things he believes he knows for sure, becomes simple and small, a boy in his sandbox unbuilding his castles, making roughed up surfaces smooth, becomes an infant, sucks feces up his anus, spits it out his mouth as food. All things around him become clean and whole. The last scar erases itself from his body. He returns to his mother's womb, to society and warmth. She in turn returns to her mother, and her mother to another womb, womb after womb, shrinking into embryos to the point where there are no more wombs. All life breaking from each other like splitting cucumbers. The first cells become stones. The stones remember nothing, only the urge to become hot, to become magma. The planet becomes fire, flies out of its orbit, returns to become a chunk of another broken star. The universe collapsing on itself faster and faster, returns to naivety, returns to uncomplicated urge, to unproblematic rage, to unmanifest desire, packs itself into a point of light, infinitely small, infinitely hot, infinitely bright, then too disappears into the dark, empty womb of the void.